Hey guys, Paleo Greenbird here. I hope everyone is doing awesome. Look at the color popping on that blade, that rainbow obsidian blade. Oh, is it beautiful. I just wanted to do a quick video um, wrapping up some of the late 2021 points and some early 22 points. Uh, as you know, I've been making a lot of bifaces and preforms lately, and it's starting to warm up, and I'm really, really hopeful that I'm going to be out there soon finishing those, turning those all into points. So I wanted to just document a little bit of what I have left over from 2021 so that I can start fresh uh, with 2022. And again, some of these are 2022 points, um, especially some of those darker obsidian ones that were made out of flakes. So the blade you're looking at right now, I'm probably going to turn into a knife and maybe do an auction. But we'll talk a little bit more about that later because I'm going to need somebody's help with a handle. Because as you've seen from my blades, my handles tend to be pretty basic. And um, I'd like to do a fundraiser for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. So we'll need something a little bit special. So the first point that I'm going to show is um, a dacite point. That's mostly direct. It has a little bit of indirect percussion to finish it up. Not just came out great. Uh, really, really thin. I wish there was a little bit more convexity, but that's the battle that I'm fighting as I make my points a lot thinner than what uh, they had been in the past. So I'll find that balance this year. This one here is Novaculite. There's a little bit of white left in there, but mostly just the, the black part of the Novaculite. Again, real thin. Decent center line, notches came out okay. And this is also uh, Novaculite. There's no white in there, it's just uh, black, but it's got a nice thin edge to it. I'm happy with it. Didn't put any notches in it, I'm not sure if I will or not. That right there is uh, Rainy Buttes. Not the easiest to work, and the edge definitely needs some work if it's going to be sharp. And, um,. There's a rainbow obsidian right there. It's a little birdie point. Not much really else to say about that one. Another rainy buttes. Again, the, the edges are a little bit rough. Probably more of a necklace point than a functional point, but it can definitely be uh, edged and suitable for hunting. Uh, it, like I said, though, it would need some work. So now, the mahogany obsidian. One of my favorite types of obsidian. <laughs> this is just a little leaf shape blade or point that I made. Again, pretty thin, not the best uh, flake patterns, and I'm hoping that this year I'll improve that as well. I'm getting my points a lot thinner. Now I'm gonna be working on convexity and flake pattern. This is a nice little wide triangular uh, bird point. Good center line, good notches. Nice and thin. I'm pretty happy with this point, actually. Uh, suitable for taking small game or, or birds. Just like this one here. This one got a little bit more of a teardrop shape to it. A little more convexity, so I do like that. Just love rainbow... I'm, I'm sorry, uh, mahogany obsidian. One of my favorite types of obsidian, like I said. Another nice one. A little bit of a gouge taken out of the tip of that. You can see as it um, as it tapers. That's rainbow obsidian right there. And nice, sharp, straight edges. Good center line. A little bit uh, thick there in the front. There's a story behind that. Maybe I'll get into that someday. Um, and then another one of these wide triangular points. Um, if I can keep from breaking it. You'll see it's got a nice center line. Nice and thin. That'll be sharpened up and ready to rock and roll. Here's another uh, Rainy Buttes point. This one is, again, the edges need a lot of work to it, but I love the shape, uh, that leaf-like shape. So I decided to keep it. But again, I'll probably be touching up the edges on that to sharpen it up. I'm going to try and make my points a little bit sharper uh, moving forward. So anyway, there's that blade again. I hope everyone is doing awesome. Everybody is staying busy and everybody is finding something that makes them uh, happy in life, something different, something new. Till next time, guys, be good, take care. Love you all.